This video addresses making your code appear consistently across browsers that aren't as old as you think they should be for them to, you know, behave badly. Right now we are looking at Internet Explorer 8 and we really want this to behave like a browser that understands uh, HTML5. I have a nav tag in here and an article tag in here and we'll look at the code or element. We have nav, <clears throat> element, or article. And they should behave like this. This is Firefox, the latest version of Firefox, but they don't because those elements should, uh, they should automatically display block level, which means on their own line. And then in the CSS, I gave the nav element a width and a height and a background color. And you can see over here in the IE8 document, it just does not know what to do. We're in the IE8 browser. So there is a website um, that has some script. It is offered through Google Code. And uh, this was developed you know, you can read about where it was to prefer all the stuff about it here. But what you want to do is you want to download this zip file. And oh, I apologize. The code, the address is right here. I should be zooming in right about now in the video. It's code.google.com forward slash p forward slash HTML5 shim, S H I M forward slash. So I'm going to download the code and I'm going to uninstall or I'm going to in uh, just save it into my site folder and then I'm going to it, it comes in as a zip I'm going to unzip it and I'm just putting it in my site folder so it's organized really there's once I unzip it, then we have all of this in here. And really, when you look at the example on the Google site, it shows that the code we're going to need to use to call it into our document should be in a DIST folder, distribution folder. So, I mean, we could pull it out of there as well, but we're going to go ahead and just copy the distribution folder because you can see it wants to go inside the distribution folder, then go to the HTML5 shiv.js file. So, we just need to take this folder here, which holds this, and we're going to copy it. And now we're going to go out to our site folder. So this is the site folder. Um, this is just all the stuff we got when we downloaded it. These are the two files that are in my project right now. And I'm going to paste. And there it is. Now I'm going to take this code and copy it and paste it in the head of my document. Now when you when you get to doing Dreamweaver templates, um, this goes into the initial file that you build before you convert it to a template. So before you convert to a template. And then I'm going to save. And when I refresh my browser, IE is behaving itself. And when I look in Firefox, it's still behaving itself. So that's all you need to do to get things to behave in IE8. Um, otherwise, it can really trip up and you don't want that to happen because IE8 is still used way more than um, way more than is acceptable to have it not look proper.